Veronica and Andri traveled all over Ukraine in search of the most unusual places in the country. The result was a photo exhibition of some abnormal and mystical locations. In each photo, there is some mystery or legend, some kind of sense that is absolutely unique. The exhibition was shot before Russia took Crimea, so you'll see some places in Crimea here. And they're thankful that they had the chance to visit. They found several memorably unique places on the peninsula, including the Inkerman Cave Monastery near Sevastopol. They even returned to the same locations several times. For Serhi, Crimea will always remain an unforgettable place. All of these photos bring associations because I've been to a lot of places in Crimea, and all these mountains remind me of people I've communicated with, of the Crimean Tatars who watched my backpack so I could climb higher. They brought me borscht and some tea. There are seven themes to the exhibition. Here's the Ukrainian Venice, a village built on the waters of the Danube Delta. There's also the Chernobyl zone, as well as fortresses, monasteries, and castles. It really is an art form because it takes a lot of luck and even science to find the right angle for a photo and be able to convey exactly what the artist wants to show. The last work you see impresses a mysterious mysticism, and I would even say some sacredness. The most mystical places of Kiev are shown as well, and the artists say that some of the shots were really lucky. Among those is a panorama of a stormy Kiev covered in the haunting flashes of lightning. This photo is not just some kind of fortune of photography, it's also the fortune of a person who studies mysticism. I was completely unprepared for the fact that we'd want to shoot it, it took a few minutes to set up the equipment. We shot it on a phone in panorama mode. Mystical Ukraine is only part of a bigger project that is already on to its next stage. The artist promised that the next exhibition will help people get acquainted with unknown corners of Ukraine.